Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I kind of just got the day started. Graceland's at school right now. She actually has her last day tomorrow. And there's lots of exciting things coming up. Like I said, her last day of school, she has her little preschool graduation and then it will be summer break officially. We are going on vacation in just about a week to the Outer Banks. So lots of fun, exciting things happening right now. Hazel's napping and I'm actually about to head outside and get some work done outside. I wanna show you guys the plants I got. I got more plants. I showed them on my Instagram if you follow me. Um, but in case you didn't see that, I wanna show on here on the vlog as well. I want to thank Liquid IV for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I have the hardest time drinking water and staying hydrated. That is one of my, I guess, flaws when it comes to my own health is that I have a really hard time staying hydrated. I need flavor in everything I drink. That's why I have such a hard time with water because there's no flavor. I have been drinking liquid IV for like the past month and it has been a great tasting way to stay healthy and hydrated to boost my immune system. So liquid IV is a healthy electrolyte drink mix that is perfect for staying hydrated, especially now with summer coming up. It's like huge, huge to stay hydrated because of the heat and being outside and being so active. They created the hydration multiplier plus immune support to maintain and strengthen your immune system. They have a cutting edge blend of vitamin C, zinc, and Wellmune in convenient single serving packets to help boost your immune system. Each packet is packed with fresh, natural tangerine flavor. And I love it because I love a good citrus flavor. I feel like that is such a refreshing flavor and it adds the best taste so that I'm actually able to drink it. One thing I have noticed in the past month while I've been drinking the liquid IV packs is that I'm actually able to stay hydrated. I have not had nearly as many headaches and like exhaustion and the feeling and the side effects that you get from dehydration. I have noticed that I haven't had as much of that because that was something that I struggled very, very, very much with. So get this, this is the best part in my opinion about liquid IV. Since I struggle, I cannot drink so many bottles of water a day. You know, it's just difficult for me and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. But one single pack of the liquid IV can provide two to three times more hydration than water alone. And like I said, with these single serving size packets, they are very easy to just pack up and take them on the go, great for traveling. One thing I have learned from drinking this is that proper hydration can really boost your immune system and your body needs, it absolutely needs electrolytes and it needs to be hydrated to be at its best and to function properly. If you want to try out this new hydration multiplier plus immune support system, Liquid IV is actually sending free samples straight to your doorstep so that you can test it out for yourself. You can click the link down below in my description to buy them on their website and they're also available nationwide at Costco. If you guys are already a fan of Liquid IV and you've already tried it and you love it, I actually have a 25% off code which is gonna be GG and me. So if you already love it, you already buy it a lot, you're in luck because I have an uh, extra 25% off code for you guys. So definitely go check it out. Get yourself hydrated <laughs> like I did. I've been taking steps to just have a healthier lifestyle and just take better care of my body so that I just feel better overall. I was gonna I was gonna show my plants, but like my both my neighbors are outside right now, so I don't really need I don't know, I don't wanna go out there with my camera. I'm gonna rake up some leaves in our backyard because um, there's like a bunch of leaves that never got raked up against our fence. And I might just clean off the patio a little bit. I don't know, I'm just gonna do just a little bit of work. I don't have much time because I gotta go get Grayson from school, but I'm gonna do what I can. <laughs>
when I say I'm dead right now. Oh my gosh, it's so hot outside. I got all the leaves raked um, up against our fence on one side of our house. I did the other side a while ago, but both of my neighbors are, oh my gosh, I need a drink. Hold on. I don't know why I didn't bring this outside. I should have brought it outside. Both of my neighbors, the houses are vacant because I'm almost positive they're both in a nursing, a nursing home. Um, so they obviously, they're not really keeping up with their lawn. I mean, it's getting mowed, but they're not like, nobody's raking the leaves or controlling like the weeds and the vines that are coming through. I just raked all my leaves on my side, but they still have a bunch of leaves on their side. So they'll probably eventually blow over. I mean, they're pretty smushed up in there and they're like wet. So not a lot will come over, but the properties just aren't really um, getting taken care of that well. But I need to go get Graceland now. So I'm actually going to go like wash my body in the shower because I feel like I have poison ivy. The other day I was working in the yard and we have a crap ton of poison ivy on the back of our fence right now. Um, the fence back there behind that fence like that's not our property. That's like the state's. So we can't really do much about it. I mean we can spray the poison ivy that we can see um, that is like coming through our fence but we can't really like go back there and just like cut it all down or have somebody cut it all down you know what i mean or like completely remove it we can really only just spray whatever's coming up on our side um but i was over there working the other day and i didn't touch it but i'm itchy in some spots and i just had really bad poison ivy like a month ago yeah this is definitely poison ivy right here um because i can tell because i've had it so many times now and I'm really sick of it. So I'm, I feel like after raking those leaves, there might've been like pieces of it in there and now it's on my skin. So I'm gonna go wash my body really quick and then I gotta go get Graceland from school. So we've been outside pretty much all day. I feel like I've definitely gotten a little bit of sun today. That's for sure. We were playing with the neighborhood kids and I was able to plant my hydrangeas. My mom actually got me two hydrangeas, so pretty. Um, I'm gonna show you right now like all the plants that I got the other day. I wasn't vlogging so I haven't showed these yet. So this one right here is a gardenia. I think that's how you say it. Gardenia or gardena. I think it's gardenia. <laughs> um, and these smell so good so I'm really excited about this. It is potted. I might try and plant it right here but I'm not sure. I don't really know. I need to research these plants. I'm not sure if they'll survive through the winter. So right now I'm just keeping it in the pot, but it has not bloomed yet. When it blooms, it's gonna be like pretty white flowers. And then right here are the hydrangeas. And I hope I planted them like far enough apart. It said two to three inches. So I think this is good. And then on our porch, I have this majesty palm. The lighting's really bad, but I plan to keep this alive for as long as I can. This can come in in the winter, and I'm gonna try and just keep it alive. I usually just let them die, but right now it's on the porch, and then when it gets cold, it'll come in. And then over here, I got a few different succulent arrangements. Everything is from Lowe's, by the way, but I got this cute arrangement in this cute pot, and I'm gonna try my best to keep these alive for as long as I can as well. And then look at how cute this pot is. In this arrangement, I also got an aloe vera, fresh aloe plant. I want to put this in a different pot that's just the one it came in. Hazel's outside with me, so we're going to go in the backyard. Sometimes I tote her around like this because it's easier. <laughs> She'll just hop in. And I'm going to take our trip to the backyard. And then I got one more hanging plant, which just looks like this. And this is on like the edge of our pergola. I have those two petunias that I showed in my last video. And I thought this one was super cute. I love the white. I think these are called, let me see, I don't know. Vinca, Vinca.
next day. I have just been getting laundry done and just doing stuff around the house. Honestly, I fold the laundry the whole time Graceland was at school today. Today was Graceland's last day of school. I just picked her up. She brought me the cutest picture ever. Is this not the cutest thing that you've ever seen? Look at how freaking cute that is. Like, I, I can't. The other night I was on Walmart. I actually ordered us a new fireplace TV stand type thing. And I stumbled up upon like their clothing section. And I ordered some clothes because I really want some cute dresses and just outfits to take on vacation because I don't really have a lot of clothes right now. I say this all the time. I discovered the other day that I am considered mid-size. So I guess mid-size is like sizes 12 slash 14. Um, and I am a, I'm both of those. It just depends on the brand. I just have always struggled finding clothing in those sizes that looks flattering on my body. I came across this girl on TikTok who did, who does and did um, mid-size like Walmart hauls to show off what, you know, the clothes look like on her body type. And we have a really similar body type. So I ordered a couple things that she had showed in her TikTok because I was like, oh my gosh, those look good on her. We look like we have a similar body type. Let me see if they look good on me. And I also got into like this whole mid-size fashion haul tag thing on TikTok and I just realized that this is like a thing. I am really happy I found those. If you have a, ow, if you have a similar body shape to me, wear size 12 or 14, go search mid-size fashion or mid-size Walmart haul or whatever. I am going to show you and I will continue to show you things that I find that are flattering on my type of body and size because those women really helped me out and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that these look good. Okay, so the first thing I ordered was from the junior section. I got it in an extra large because junior sizes typically tend to run small, but it's just really cute ribbed, I think is what it's called, floral dress. And I have come to realize that with my body shape, Stuff with ruffles uh, in like the front just flatter me the best because they obviously cover a lot of those things that aren't very flattering in my opinion. So this is a tank top dress. I'm gonna try it on. I have really high hopes. This actually wasn't in any haul that I saw. I just found it on Walmart when I was browsing. This one right here, I think, is the one that looks so good on the girl on TikTok. Wait, is it or no? Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is huge. I got it in a size large, but I don't know if that's gonna... Okay, this is huge. I'm gonna try these on. I came upstairs so that I can show my outfit. So the first thing I wanna show, I've actually had these for a while now, but they are these jean shorts from Walmart and these are super flattering. Like they're better than any other jean shorts I have found. One, they're high-waisted. And two, they have this, like these buttons going up that really conceal this area. You know, I got a lot of pudge going on. But these, is there a stain? But these look really, really good. They look really good and I feel super confident in these. So these are from Walmart. I think they're $13 only. And I actually just ordered another pair last night. I ordered a white pair. They have a white, a like camel print, and then I think like a dusty pink. I wanted them, but they were all sold out in my size. Those ones I have in a size 14. These are size 12 because they're from last summer, but I still can fit into them. They're just a little bit more snug i'll have the links for all this stuff too by the way but these are also nice as well they're high-waisted they don't have the bottoms but i think they still fit me really well and they look really good and they're comfortable too they're stretchy you can move in them okay so this is the dress this is so cute let me fix my camera since i'm so freaking tall i think it looks really good 
my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm about to order another one of these. I think this one was, I think it was like 20 or 22, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so worth it. Okay, so this one, it's all right. I feel like I got too big of a size though, because look at like how much slack there is. I mean, it's meant to be oversized, but I don't know. I don't really know if I like this one. I ordered a different one that was like coral and the sleeves are more flared and I think it's a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure if I like this yet. I don't know. I also want to mention the length on these are great. I am 5'10 and as you can tell like the length on both of the dresses are really good. I don't know maybe when I have like my hair and makeup done and I have like shoes on I'll like it better. It's kind of hard to tell when I have my hair up in a bun and I'm not ready at all. You can't like really judge your outfit until you get completely ready. How about Hey, so I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Come here. So I have the little splash pad thing going right there. Patrick's uh, sister actually got that for them last summer. Super awesome. And they're on Amazon for really cheap. I'll try and link one or this one if I can find it down below. The water actually pr gets pretty high. You can turn it down so that it's like low. If you want it, just whatever setting, you know, whatever pressure you want. And then we got the water table filled up right here. Hazel is super skeptical about the water, so that's why I didn't put a bathing suit on her because I knew she wouldn't be that interested. See, she's like, yeah, no thanks. Show mama how you jump. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Anyways, the girls are just going to play. I'm going to attempt to get this fixed as best as I can. We put this pathway in over here, and I did want to take all this rock out, but I just think it's going to be too much work. So I'm going to try my best to like spread these mounds of dirt and rock right here to fill in these little gaps right here. Just make it look a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with this section right now it's a hot mess but I'm gonna attempt to just make it look somewhat better Hazel wants to go on the saucer swing we hung this on the tree I don't know if I showed it but they are obsessed with that They love it. Hazel likes laying on it like this. It's so cute. Woo, spinny. What a vibe. What a vibe and a mood. I didn't get very far out there. Um, I got somewhere, but still a lot of work that needs to be done. We are now inside. My girls are resting. <laughs> They're worn out. Watching some Nemo. I just got done folding. This is all of my laundry. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all away and then start my next load. Okay, I just got done putting my clothes away. I was upstairs for like 10 minutes just putting the clothes away. Graceland fell asleep on the couch watching Nemo. She is knocked out. Which is super rare. It's very rare for her to fall asleep during the day. So I'm not even gonna bother her. She's clearly tired. 
she had school today and I think they played outside the majority of the time and we played outside too when she got home in the water so <laughs> she's just really tired right now I am slowly getting rid of just stuff I have both of these things listed right now on Facebook marketplace this is just super old I've had this since Grayson was a baby and it was bought used like from somebody on marketplace so it's just old and crusty I do have somebody coming to get this so need to bring this upstairs I listed this for $25 which I think is a good deal because these are originally like, I think they're like 60 or 70 bucks and it works great. I just do not want it anymore. It takes up so much room. Let's see if I can get it through the doorway and up the stairs. I'm coming. I'm just getting this outside. She just picked up the jumperu, got the money, like I said, 25 bucks. I just had her put it under my mat because I don't like socializing um, at all. So I was just like, I'll set it on my porch and you put the money under the mat. I have no idea what I'm about to make because the stuff that I meal planned for this week, they were out of at the grocery store and I just never like went and got it. I think I'm going to do just something that's already in our fridge so pierogies some mushrooms and onions probably to go with the pierogies some asparagus hazel will not stop going in there and trying to wake Grayson up hazel come here honey i'm gonna have to put the gate up come here let's stay in the kitchen okay Gigi's really tired we're gonna leave her alone this fake little sink has saved my life <laughs> so many times when i'm in the kitchen like trying to cook or clean or do the dishes if you have a toddler that's obsessed with going in the dishwasher when you're trying to do dishes get them one of these little fake sinks normally i would put water on it and it would run the water through it comes out of the faucet right there but she does just fine she's satisfied without the water Coated my asparagus with olive oil, Italian teasing, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, and some lemon juice. Pop them in the air fryer at 400. I do nine minutes because I like them to be a little bit uh, like crispy. <laughs> the reality of cooking with a toddler. <laughs> it is. It is the next day. We just got back from Graceland's preschool graduation. So cute. So freaking cute. Um, she did great. I just put cheesy roll up in the microwave for way too long. This is garbage. I'm making them cheesy roll ups, but this. Yeah, that one was a fail because I forgot it was in the microwave like usual. We stopped at Pulp Smoothie. Got some smoothies. We tried to go to Taco Bell, but they, um, they didn't have lunch because Grayson wanted to talk about And that is why I'm making cheesy roll-ups. So we can make them at home. Yeah. I got citrus berry. This is my favorite one. It is so good. It's like the perfect blend of citrus and berry. <laughs> my flower bloom. I know. Didn't it bloom so nicely? Yeah. Do you remember what that's from? From school. Yeah, Gigi got me this for Mother's Day and it bloomed. It was dead, but then it rebloomed. Yep, from the sun. Yeah, Gigi looks so pretty from her graduation. Did you have a good graduation? Yeah, I didn't wear my graduation. Uh, you didn't wear a robe, but you wore a hat. Smell it. <laughs> Hazel's trying to eat. There was one ripe blueberry, and now she keeps going over there, let's, let's <laughs> trying to eat the unripe ones. We gotta let them grow more. Yeah, not yet. No more. She's like, but dad. <laughs> She's like, but I just ate one. What you, I just you ate one. Me? It was good. I'm going to eat more. It is so relaxing on my front porch. The plans for today, the rest of the day, um, I think we're gonna just like get some stuff done outside. And then we're gonna go to dinner later for Patrick's sister's 
birthday. So relaxing up here. I'm just sitting down. Drinking my smoothie. Got all my pretty plants right next to me. <laughs> We're just having some chill, relaxing time right now. We're playing outside and it's a hot day, so we're just chilling. I'm in the process of editing and Gracelyn heard the doorbell ring and she came running down the stairs and I was like, it's just the UPS guy. He dropped off my packages and she went and got them for me. So this is the rest of my um, clothes that I ordered from Walmart, unless they still have more. I don't know if this is the rest. We'll see what's in that bag. But I got, this is the dress I was talking about with the frilly sleeves. And like I said, I got it in this coral color. I have a feeling I'll like this Can one. Can I open the rest so you can open it for me? This one's also more comfy than the other Mommy, one. Mommy, you got some workout shorts. Workout shorts? <laughs> Let me see. And then those shorts I showed, the ones that I absolutely yeah. love. Like I had said, I got them in white. Whose birthday? Daddy's birthday today. Daddy's birthday? Not your birthday. Not my birthday. Whose birthday are we going to go celebrate later? Stephanie. Yeah, that's Stephanie. Anyways, I'm going to hey, try this stuff on. Your birthday? Okay, it's later on in the day. I have to whisper because I do not want to wake up my children. But I'm finally getting a chance to try on the dresses or the dress. This is what this one looks like. I'm not sure, I don't know. <laughs> it's out of my comfort zone, but I think I like it. Um, it's really comfy and flowy, but it's also really wrinkled. You can't see my legs right now, so it's like hard to tell how it actually looks. Let's see, how about this? Now you can kind of see it better. <laughs> I'm going to give this one like an 8 out of 10. I'll definitely wear it and it doesn't look horrible, but it's probably not my favorite. I have a robe on right now because I had no shirt on. Um, I was wearing a dress, but these are the white shorts with the buttons going up. And I really like these. I'm wearing... Uh, black underwear, so I'm not gonna turn around, but they fit really well. These are so comfy, so comfy. I freaking love these shorts. So that's it for the clothes that I wanted to try on. I do have some more stuff coming, like I said, those biker shorts I ordered, and then I think one more dress. I will try my best to show those um, in the next vlog if I can because they should be coming within the next couple days here. I'm pretty happy with everything. Like I'm not returning anything. I'm happy with it. I don't love all of it, but it does work good for my body type. And I hope this helped any of you if you have a similar body type as me or we're the same size. And even if you don't, if you have a completely different body type, it probably still can look good on you. I just know personally for me, these kind of like outfits that are more like flared and frilly or the shorts that are high-waisted and more like concealing they just work better for me personally and like my body shape i've lost five pounds i'm not like dieting or anything or necessarily trying but as i've mentioned several times in the past i'm just making better healthier choices with eating and my lifestyle in general um, and it's definitely starting to show and pay off, so that's really exciting. I want to eventually lose like 30 to 50 pounds, um, but I'll have to like really grind and go hard and I'm not quite ready for that yet. Like I said, I'm just slowly going into it so that I don't quit easily or back out or, you know, so that it's super hard on me. I'm making like a slow transition into healthy eating, trying to get more exercise, be more active, all of that stuff. Because for me personally, that's just what's going to work. But I have lost five pounds so far, which is great. And I'm very proud of myself. And I hope with some time and taking things slow and just doing things at my own pace that I can get back to the weight that I feel comfortable 
um, and most confident in. I want to start um, exercising and getting stronger and more fit again. I used to be very fit when I was like a teenager and I did competitive cheerling and all that and I miss just being like fit and strong and not feeling weak all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to me if you are not already. Turn on the notification bell to be notified for every single time that I upload. And that's it. Thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.